Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is David, I'm a second year mechanical engineering major from San Juan Capistrano, California in Orange County, and I'm so excited to take you along in a day in my life as a mechanical engineer. All right, so this day did start a little bit earlier than most. I had an AM class, so I thought, what better time to hit the rec center than right when it opens at 6 a.m. You can see how pretty the lights are here when I'm heading in. I was working on chest and back today, so that was a lot of fun. It was overall always a great time in the recreation center. And then something that I love about Santa Barbara is since it's south facing, the morning light and that golden light always hits the mountains in the most beautiful way. And you can see that right here as I'm biking back home. Got a chance to do a little bit of yoga and ab workout outside today, so that was really awesome. And then that bike to class with the morning clouds also was very beautiful heading to my 8 a.m. physics. But today we're learning all about magnetic materials and how different poles can be induced. And then my teacher here is doing a demonstration to show how poles will align for different magnetic materials. Heading to my next class, which is the Climate Crisis 101. It's a super impactful class and learning more about the climate crisis and ways that we can actually make an impact. I chose my major in mechanical engineering because I'd always had a passion for math and physics growing up. Overall, I wanted to get more into the design realm of things and I thought that mechanical engineering was a great major because of all the engineering majors, it is one of the more broad majors. There's so many great different realms that you can explore with this. You can get into the more material science side of things or you can get more into the aerospace side. So because of all the various applications as well as my own personal desire to get more involved in the design ingenuity, it's been overall been a really great experience and that is why I chose mechanical engineering. My favorite thing about the UCSB College of Engineering and Mechanical Engineering specifically is that all of the majors within uh, the College of Engineering are cohort based. So what that means is that within my major in my grade, there are only around 70 students that will get bigger as we get transfers students next year. But with having just about 70 students in our major, in our grade, it's really nice for having that tight-knit community. Prior to coming to college, I never studied with anyone else. I was very individualistic, but UCSB has really blown me away in the way that it's so collaborative and study groups group projects, all those things are very laid out for us within mechanical engineering because that small tight-knit community and that was ultimately why I chose to come here. Doing a little walkthrough of engineering too here at UC Santa Barbara. This is where many mechanical engineering lab-based classes are held. So to give you guys an example of this, I am taking a class called Mechanical Engineering 6 this quarter. This is Introduction to Basic Circuits and Electronics. So this class does have a lab element where a specific lab here in Engineering 2 is designated to this class and I'll get to build circuits every single week. These displays that you see on the wall are mainly from capstone projects. These are our senior projects that are unique to mechanical engineering here at UC Santa Barbara specifically. So this is a research-based project where um, local companies will fund projects for teams here at UC Santa Barbara, typically between like three to four students, and they'll have somewhere between five and $10,000 to work on a year-long project. This is ultimately the culmination of a lot of different research and teamwork, so that is really cool to see and kind of launches students into their careers oftentimes. A lot of our mechanical engineering professors also have their offices here in engineering too, so I've had the great opportunity to connect with a lot of my professors. That way, even right here, getting to chat with my professors with that ocean view, so I think this is a fitting place to end. While mechanical engineering doesn't have a specific pre-major process, there are a lot of lower division requirements that all students in the major have to do. Talking about the three pillars outside of mechanical engineering, it typically rests in math, physics, and uh, chemistry, with chemistry being the least amount of classes that students have to take, and then math and physics have a little bit more. And then that sophomore year, we're starting to get into more of the mechanical engineering lower division classes that really build the knowledge so that we can do those upper division classes. Right now, I'm taking a class called Strength of Materials, which is a mechanical engineering based class, as well as a class called Circuits for Mechanical Engineers. And then all of this is building towards the fourth year where the mechanical engineers are working on a year long project called Capstone, where they're getting funding from local industries to do a year long research based project. This is about midday now, and I did head back to the library for a little bit to get some work done before I grabbed lunch on campus. You can have a meal plan beyond just your first year, so I live off campus now and I typically get lunch here on campus. So this is a great way to connect with friends. After lunch, I had my physics lab. Today was all about inducing magnetic fields with solenoids and magnetic coils. So this was a lot of fun to get that more practical lab application as I've continuously talked about. Um, one of my other involvements here on campus is I do work as a tour guide, so I love bringing people into this UCSB community that welcomes me so warmly. So after the physics lab, you see me here heading to my Gacho Tour Association weekly meeting. 
And now maybe this is the moment y'all have been waiting for. Here I'm heading with a couple of friends to go watch the sunset on the cliffs overlooking the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Channel Islands. You can see how beautiful it is here. This clip of me walking to the sun feels straight out of a movie. And honestly, mindfulness, wellness, all these things were so important to me. And it feels like UC Santa Barbara, the natural beauty, really encourages this really great balance and way for students to disconnect. A little bit more about clubs and organizations that are mechanical engineering based. I want to shout out two right now. We have the American Society of Mechanical Engineers or ASME. ASME is really all about professional development and does a really great job of making sure that students have the professional skills that they need to get that job or internship or whatever it may be. And then there's so much networking and community building that goes on within this organization. And then on kind of on the more practical side of things, I'm involved in a club called Engineers Without Borders. The mission of Engineers Without Borders is about spreading sustainable engineering projects all around the world. Our UCSB chapter of Engineers Without Borders has both a Rwanda, a Panama, and a local team so we have the abroad products our projects of spreading engineering projects to Rwanda and Panama <laughs> all right we're gonna be ending my day in my life here at Stork Tower so I've kind of been biking around it all day but haven't had a chance to point it out so that right there is Stork Tower if I could sum up UC Santa Barbara in one word, I always talk about balance. And as you saw throughout my day, there's so many different things going on, but in so many different ways, there is that balance. There's that great social life, natural beauty, and of course, academics, that's all balanced out. This was not similar to every day in my life, but in a lot of ways, this day was super meaningful and something that I was super glad to share with y'all. So I hope you took something from this. Thank you.